I come from Nazareth. It's the biggest, actually, Arab city in Israel. Nazareth, for me, it's, it's a very special place, obviously, because it's my hometown. Food is really, I, I find it the best, and that's very important, especially when you live there for so long, you need to eat well. I have a lot of friends that I grew up with from since I was really six years old. We're still friends, actually, and uh, that feels always like home. My parents are not musicians, but I guess they really like music, especially now because they have to come to the concerts when, when, when they can. <laughs> My parents were always supportive of music. Actually, it's not only like, it's not about music, it's about what I want to do, and they always supported that, and that always was very helpful. Yeah, maybe my father's dream was for me to be a doctor, but you know, he somehow sees what I see in it, and he supports it, and I cannot be more grateful, actually. From what I remember, that I saw it in, on TV, and then I really liked it because I also wanted to choose a musical instrument. And I remember someone mentioning once that violin is really difficult. So, that was it. The challenge will never be fulfilled. You cannot win the violin, but it's an, definitely an amazing journey to be a musician. Yeah, I do remember actually. The first time I was very nervous before the lesson and I didn't know what to expect. They just gave me this violin and I just, you know, they tried to show you how to hold it. And I remember afterwards, whatever object that could look like a violin or something, I would try to hold it like a violin and that was very funny. So when I was 11, I joined the West Eastern Divan Orchestra. Yeah, just being in such an orchestra at a very young age, touring, yeah, I decided, yeah, that's, that's what I want to do. And learning so much from Maestro Barenboim with the dedication to music that every note matters, everything what's written, you have to understand it. And then somehow music becomes something very exciting that you have to really search for the right sound, for understanding what's written on this score. And I completely love that. I would say it's almost exactly the opposite of Berlin, where it was, you know, you go out, there's cars all the time, people, traffic, and here it's, you can go by foot. I guess what I will miss here when I leave would be the master classes. It's not only learning from the teacher, actually, or from the artist coming, but learning from the students, you know, each one plays and then you take an idea from someone and so you try to see what, what other thoughts are there, and that I find very interesting. I think with math and music, what's similar is that one can calculate things. You can calculate how much bow speed you want to use, how much crescendo to do, how much vibrato to use, how much pressure, and you know, you need to balance it. But I guess that doesn't need very, how do you say, advanced math. And billiard would be, I f somehow find a lot of similarities with violin playing. The position when you play billiard, you're somehow always thinking elbow, fingers, and it's quite similar. For me, music is all about being honest and just really expressing 100% what one feels, what one thinks. So I think the, the purest thing to exist. In music, there's no such thing as losing, actually. One always wins by simply playing, and you play for your own self first before you play for others. And that's most important about it. <laughs>